Hello and welcome to The Floor Aesthetic. Uh, today we are going to be talking about my favorites in beauty from 2020. I'm really excited to share my discoveries with you from this past year, uh, but I first want to talk about my name change. If you are new here, then you're not aware that I used to be Green Beauty Trish. Um, if you've been with me for a while, then you know that this is a new name. And just to give you a little background on my decision to do this, um, way back when, in 2009, when I started my blog called Scent Hive, I was mostly reviewing natural perfumes, natural fragrances, so Scent Hive just seemed like a terrific name for what I was doing. Uh, when I decided to branch out onto YouTube and start doing more skincare and body care reviews in the green beauty space, I felt like it made sense for me to include Green Beauty in my name, so I changed it to Green Beauty Trish. But I never really felt super married to that name. I never felt like it completely spoke to what I'm trying to do here on my channel and also over on Instagram. So over the last several months, I've been thinking about changing my name. So when I was thinking about what words I wanted to use to convey what I'm doing here, I came up with Flora and then aesthetic. So flora obviously refers to the plant kingdom. You guys know how much I love flowers. I mean, everybody loves flowers, but yeah, I spend a lot of time, especially over on Instagram, um, photographing my flowers in our, in our garden. And then aesthetic refers to beauty, art, nature, how it makes us feel, what we're drawn to. So combining those two words and coming up with the flora aesthetic just really spoke to me. I'm super excited about it. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys already. So thank you so much for the support in changing my name. And many of you have reached out and told me how much you love the name Scent Hive. And to be honest, I really was toying with the idea of just going back to Scent Hive. But while I love that name, I really do feel like that is more specific to fragrance reviews and I'm just more broad at this point. So I felt like it was time for just something completely new and fresh. But as a nod to Scent Hive and my love for Scent Hive, and for those of you who have been with me since then, I have brought back the artwork here on my channel that I originally had over on Scent Hive. I actually commissioned that artwork from a local artist here. Her name is Hadley Hutton. I don't know if she's still actively selling her artwork. She used to sell on Etsy, but I don't think she's active there anymore. But anyway, I have brought a piece of Scent Hive back here onto my channel. So I hope that those of you who have been with me for many years will recognize that. So now let's go ahead and jump into my favorites from 2020. These are discoveries from 2020. I haven't included any products from a past year that might still be a favorite. These are purely discoveries for me from this past year. And I have chosen products that I would continue to buy in the future. Some of them were gifted to me, but I would have no problem buying them myself in the future, or these are products that I have purchased myself and then will purchase again in the future. So that was pretty much my benchmark for including products in this video is would I repurchase it again. So let's go ahead and start with my favorites from the Box Walla and the Clean Beauty Box. If you're not familiar with either of them, they are subscription boxes that focus mostly on the green beauty space, clean beauty. And rather than do a whole retrospective of both of these boxes, which would take a really long time, I'm just including my top picks from this past year. And my first one is from Votary. This is their Super Seed Serum. And even though they call it a serum, it definitely feels more like a lotion to me. I would consider this a light lotion that does an excellent job of moisturizing. This has broccoli seed oil, rosehip seed oil, hyaluronic acid in it. Sometimes hyaluronic acid serums for me can feel kind of tacky, but this is not tacky at all. It has a very smooth texture. It wears really well under foundation and SPF. And this is just so easy to reach for. As you can tell, I'm almost out of it. I love using it over serums. I will mix it with serums and over this past summer because this was in the august beauty box from boxwalla and i found that in those warmer months like august and september we had a lot of warm weather in september that it was just so easy to reach for because it wasn't heavy and like i said it wears really well under spf so this was a really great discovery for me this past year another huge favorite of mine from the boxwalla this past year is the live botanical sanctuary barrier balm this is a part of the december beauty box which unfortunately is 
is sold out at this point, but I would include this barrier balm as one of my favorites if the box ball hadn't included it in one of their offerings. This has Amazonian butters in it, and those butters are harvested from small indie co-ops that help prevent rainforest clear cutting. And I also want to mention that if you do purchase this off of the Live Botanical website, that $2 per each balm will be donated to the various environmental organizations and social justice organizations that Carolyn, who is the owner and creator of Live Botanical, uh, donates to. This also includes ceramide-rich rice bran wax. There are no essential oils in here. And just the formulation is going to improve absorption of your actives while also providing an occlusive barrier to help prevent water loss and of course protect your skin's barrier as the name of the product does suggest. And because it does help the actives absorb, I love using it at nighttime so that not only does it help my actives work even better and kind of boost their efficacy, it also creates that moisture barrier while I'm sleeping. Now I also wanna mention a couple favorites that were offered in the box wall as limited edition box. Boxes. I'm pretty sure these are still available. So I will link to those below. My first favorite from a limited edition box is from Fine. The name of it is the High Potency Nocturnal Renewal. So this is to be used as an overnight mask. It has baobab, marula, and squalane oils in it, CoQ10, ceramides, as well as papaya fruit extract. So the papaya fruit extract is going to act as an exfoliant. So you want to use with care if you're not used to using exfoliants on your skin. For me, I can use this overnight, no problem, and it doesn't cause any tingling or irritation for me, but definitely use with care and start with a low amount and then build your way up slowly. And while it's labeled a mask, to me, it just feels like a beautiful overnight cream that absorbs really well. I can use a lot of this and not have to worry about it being super greasy or getting all over my pillow. And then I just wanna say thank you to the Boxwalla for introducing me to Fine Cosmetics. I was not aware of them at all until they were included in, I think it was the October Beauty Box and Eye Serum. And then this limited edition box includes this overnight mask, a nighttime eye serum, as well as a body serum, which is lovely. I really have enjoyed using that as well. So I do think this limited edition box is still available. So I will definitely link that below. And then finally, another limited edition box that was just released about a week ago is with Live Botanical. So you guys know I'm super excited about that. And I particularly wanted to mention this today, not only because one of the products in this limited edition box is one of my favorites from 2020, but I wanted to show you this tiny little box that one of the products comes in. I love these box walla boxes, but when I opened this one up and saw how little and cute it is, I just almost gasped because I love it so much. And then what is in this little box is the Live Botanical Fruit Tisan. And a tisan is basically a tea with fruits and herbs in it. This is what this gorgeous packaging looks like. And just look at those beautiful colors. It is called the Herb Magic in the Moonlight and it includes dried blueberries and cranberries. And both of those come from a small farm in Southern Oregon. There's dried apples from Hood River and there's lemon balm, rose, hibiscus, raspberry leaf, motherwort, and marshmallow. So just a beautiful combination of herbs and dried fruit and Carolyn just does such a wonderful job with her teas so I highly recommend checking out her teas I think she usually does them on a limited edition basis and they have all been beautiful also in this limited edition box from the box walla you get the live botanical moon cycle balm I just wanted to show you what the whole box together looks like so you get the balm and you get the tisan and it is still available and like I said the tisan is definitely one of my favorites from 2020 it is beautiful it's fruity and herbally, and I just love it. So now on to my favorites from the Clean Beauty Box. Two of them are from Daphna. I'm gonna talk about the Daphna Recovery Cleanser first, which has moringa oil, bamboo extract, which is high in vitamins and minerals and helps brighten your complexion. It also has sweet orange and rosemary, which just creates the most beautiful scent. I am completely addicted to the smell. It does smell mostly of sweet orange to me. I do get a little bit of the rosemary, it kind of makes it more herbal and fresh, but really the sweet orange is the standout scent in here. The texture is smooth. It's almost like honey. I don't think there is any honey in the formulation, but it kind of has that really smooth, creamy, 
honey type texture. I already have mentioned this product, I think a couple times here on my channel and over on Instagram. So many of you might already know that I love using it as a shower mask. So I'll apply it to my skin, do a little bit of massage, get in the shower. And then when I'm all done, you know, washing my body, I will rinse off the mask. And then my skin just feels super clean, super supple. I really, really love it as a flash mask or a shower mask. I really love having it on my windowsill right by my shower so that I can just reach for it super easily before I do get into the shower. My next favorite from the Clean Beauty Box is the Daphna Revival Bioactive Mask. This contains capsulated charcoal, reishi, ginkgo, ginseng, and I can't tell you how much I love this mask. It has been such an incredible find from 2020. I think I'm always going to want to have this in my skincare arsenal. So when you go over to the Daphna website and you look at the instructions for use, um, they tell you to tap it onto your skin for the hydration and nurturing aspects of this mask. You don't want to massage it in because that breaks up the encapsulated charcoal. So what you want to do is just tap it gently onto your skin. Like I said, that is going to be the hydration and the moisture part of this mask. It is a two-phase mask in a way. If you have really dry skin, you'll wanna leave that on for up to 10 minutes. If you have oilier or sensitive skin, maybe just leave it on for like four to seven minutes. And then after the hydration part, you take a couple of drops of water, you start massaging your skin, and then the charcoal gets broken up, and then you can just massage your face for about a minute, and then you rinse it off. So it is a lovely combination of hydration, moisturization, sort of that purifying, you know, detoxification that you get from the charcoal. What I actually like to do is I do apply it onto dry skin and then I just go ahead and massage it right away. I have not found that my skin gets irritated at all when I go ahead and break up the capsules right away and then I'll leave it on my skin for probably about 10 minutes and then I like to jump in the shower or take a bath with it on and then just rinse it off. And I can't tell you how just smooth and glowy my skin looks after I use this mask. I think that of all the masks that I have, even though I have a lot of masks and a lot of them I love, this one I feel is kind of next level like I really, really noticed the difference when I use it. So I highly recommend it. It has been a huge, huge favorite from 2020. And I'm really thankful for the Clean Beauty Box for sending this to me for review purposes, but also just as an incredible discovery from this past year. And then finally from the Clean Beauty Box is the Prima Afterglow Deeply Restorative Cream. This contains broad spectrum hemp extract. So it's got CBD in it. There's lots of butters in here, squalane. And the butters used in this formula, including squalane, are gonna help regenerate your collagen. I really love this mask because it is a thick cream that absorbs very quickly so I can use it day and night. And for those of you who've been watching my videos over this past year, you know how much I have been loving CBD in my skincare. I would say if I had a star ingredient to highlight for the year, it would definitely be CBD. My skin loves it. For me, it really is anti-inflammatory. It helps bring down redness and it just helps calm and soothe my skin. So I really love that ingredient. I have been loving it also in oils like Skin Fancy, makes a really nice CBD oil. Um, Etymology makes a really nice CBD oil as well. But I'm including the Prima one as a favorite from 2020 because I love the cream delivery system. There just aren't that many that I'm personally aware of on the market that are in the more clean green beauty space. So this is a huge hit for me from this past year. So now let's go ahead and dive into the rest of my favorites from 2020 that were not a part of the subscription box situation. Um, I'm going to start with a cleanser and this is from Laurel. This is her Deep Clarity oil cleanser. This contains sesame and sunflower oils, turmeric and calendula extract. So it's loaded with beautiful oils, herbal extracts, and it is one of those oil cleansers that does not emulsify off. And the reason why I'm including this one in particular in my favorites of 2020 is because this one has really brought me back to the love of using an oil cleanser that needs to be removed with the cloth method. I typically do reach for oil cleansers that do emulsify off just because of the ease of use. But I find when I want to take that extra time at nighttime to do facial massage, remove SPF and eye makeup, that the oil cleansers that do not emulsify off are just so nice to reach for in that particular situation. And like all of Laurel's products, this is made with whole plant ingredients, beautiful herbs that have just such a nice aroma that I find really relaxing. And so I'm just so happy to have this in my collection because like I said, it has brought me back to that love of using um, an oil cleanser and then the process of using a warm cloth to remove it. It's just really relaxing and just feels like a really special ritual at nighttime. Now, next up is a product that is a little bit more on the mainstream side. This is the Laneige 
cream skin mist. This came to my attention from Renee from the Gothamista. She was raving about it, I think, in her Black Friday recommendation video. So when I saw that, I decided to go ahead and get it. It doesn't have a huge ingredient list, and I would definitely go check it out to make sure all the ingredients are okay for you because I wouldn't technically consider this to be in the green beauty or clean beauty space, but it has meadow foam seed oil in it and white tea extract. And this has become one of my favorite mists. I mean, the the mister itself is super fine, which I really appreciate. I know a lot of you guys appreciate that too. You know the joy of using a really fine mist on your face. And it is really hydrating as well as moisturizing. I can definitely feel the meadow foam seed oil on here. So it's just a really lovely merging of those two qualities that you want in a mist or an essence, that combination of oil and hydration. So they just really nailed it on this formula. I love it and I really can't imagine ever being without it now. And then I have another toner that has become a huge, huge favorite from this year. This was a new release from Josh Rosebrook, his Daily Acid Toner. So this has, I think, four acids in here, including malic and glycolic acid. It smells beautiful, and I think that's due to the white peony tea and the elderberry extracts. It has like a sweet kind of florally scent, a little bit on the rosy scent, which I think is maybe coming from the white peony, but it's just really like fresh and light and floral, just so, so beautiful. I am in love with the scent of this product, but even more so, I am in love with the effect that it has on my skin. I love using it at nighttime. So for example, I will wash my face with the Laurel Cleansing Oil, remove that with the hot cloth, maybe do a mist of the Laneige, and then I will put this on top of that. And then on top of that, I really like using the Lil Fox Dewy Bean Dream. This is another one of those huge, huge favorites from the year. The star ingredient in this product is moth bean, which is going to give you those retinol-like effects. It has been referred to as a botanical retinol. Um, the reason for that is because it does help decrease fine lines and it helps boost collagen. But just to be really clear, this is not a vitamin A derivative, so it is not in that retinoid family at all. Moth bean comes from the seeds of a legume and the seeds are rich in antioxidants and phenolic compounds, which are going to give you those retinol-like effects. And I think it's important to know that moth bean is cultivated. It is not wild harvested, so it is not in danger of becoming extinct or in danger of becoming extinct. There's also niacinamide in here, lactic and glycolic acid, and bamboo extract. And so as I mentioned, I love using these two together. These are just the dynamic duo for me from 2020. And when I use both of them together, my skin in the morning is just super glowy. I kind of have that retinol glow without actually using a retinol. I just love both of these products so much and I almost always use them together. So now let's go ahead and move on to what might be my favorite of all from the entire year. And that is the Live Botanical Ambient Moisture Liquid. This contains phytoceramides, hyaluronic acid, go-to cola, plantain, marshmallow, and strawberry. And the scent of this from the strawberry is absolutely beautiful. It is really light. It is very suggestive of the summertime and picking berries in a field. I just can't tell you how much I love the strawberry scent of this. And it's not hyper sweet or cloying at all. It's just really light and it does dissipate pretty quickly. And the reason why this has become a fast favorite of mine this past year is because, first of all, you guys know how much I love my emulsion serums. I use them pretty much every single day, morning and night. And some of you guys have asked how it compares to Potency because Potency, I believe, if I remember correctly, was on my list from last year. And I absolutely love Potency. I think it's amazing, but it is a little bit thicker, I would say, than the Live Botanical Ambient Moisture Liquid. And it's also also a lot more expensive. Potency is a lot more expensive. So I would say that that is a huge reason why this has risen to the top for me. It is very similar to the Sweet Briar um, Nectar from Heart of Gold. I think it's actually a little bit thicker than the Heart of Gold. I don't have the Sweet Briar with me right here to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure the Ambient Moisture Liquid is a little bit thicker than that. So I feel like it just rides that middle road perfectly of not being too heavy, but it's not too light, and it's just loaded with beautiful beautiful botanicals, and I am just absolutely in love with it. So now we're gonna move into my favorite oil serums from the year. I'm first gonna talk about the one from Pink Moon. This is their Lunar Drops. This contains sunflower oil, moringa oil, has a beautiful scent of neroli and rose. It was created specifically to do gua sa, to do massage on your face 
with a tool. Now, of course, for facial massage, you don't have to use any kind of a tool. You can use your fingers, or you don't even have to do the massage. You can just rub it in the palms of your hands and pat it onto your skin as you would any other oil serum. But it was inspired by doing facial gua sa, so it does have a really beautiful slip to it. And like I mentioned, it has neroli and rose in it, and the scent is just stunning. I love it so much. It's really light and sweet, and it's just a perfect blend of neroli and rose. Neither one stands out too much. They got the balance just right, and so I can't rave enough about the scent of this product. It is gorgeous. And while we're on the topic of Pink Moon, I wanna show you what their packaging looks like. First of all, I love this pink and navy blue that they're using for their branding. So they have this tape all around, and then this is what the inside looks like. And this is my purchase from Black Friday where they increase the percentage they donate to charity. They also had a lot of gift with purchases going on. And actually the gift with purchases are still available. It's while supplies last. So I would head over there if something has piqued your interest on their website. But I just wanted to point out to you guys that they have released a new body oil and Lynn was super kind and sent me a sample of it. It's called Midnight Melody and it smells Amazing, there's ylang ylang in here and tuberose. I think there's a little bit of galbanum, but it smells a little bit like Kai to me. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the fragrance Kai. It's kind of like a musky, tropically gardenia type scent. This is sort of reminiscent of that and it smells beautiful. And if you purchase the full size of the Midnight Melody, you get a smaller size of the Lunar Drops. So I think that is just a wonderful gift with purchase. And then just as a reminder, if you use my code Trish, T-R-I-S-H, 10% of your purchase will go to Campaign Zero. So I know I just got diverted away from the best of 2020, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful the Pink Moon packaging is. So let's move on to the next facial oil that I just absolutely fell in love with this past year. This is Rosa from Earthwise Beauty. And this only contains one ingredient, whole fruit rosehip oil that is unrefined. This was created specifically for people who have sensitive skin, acneic skin, and for those of us who are looking for some help with fine lines and brightening our skin. And because this is unrefined, it has fruit pulp in it, which is high in carotenoids, which are powerful antioxidants and are photoprotective. The beta carotene in here specifically, um, your body converts that into vitamin A. So that is why a lot of people feel like it has sort of the retinol effects like decreasing wrinkles and helping with hyperpigmentation. Of course, it's not going to be as potent as a retinol because I think it is many steps away from that conversion, but a lot of people really do enjoy those effects from rosehip oil. And this one is the premier rosehip oil in my opinion, because it's whole fruit, because it's unrefined, you're getting just incredible nourishment and also a creaminess from this oil. So if you're looking for something that is simple, but super effective and really, really beautiful with no essential oils, then I highly recommend checking out Rosa for that. And then my last favorite facial oil is from Noshaba. This is Sommer. Excuse the oil stains on the bottle, but I think you can get a really good idea of how beautiful this packaging is. This contains marigold, jasmine sambac, apricot seed oil, argan oil. There's also cannabis sativa oil in here, so I'm assuming that's gonna have some CBD in here, so getting that beautiful CBD effect that I love. Um, these are all homegrown botanicals, wild harvested, and when something is wild harvested from this brand, it is going to be ethically sourced and community supported. So very sustainable, very ethical brand. I really love reaching for the Noshaba Sommer when I want a thick oil. It almost has kind of a viscous quality to it that feels almost occlusive. So I kind of get that combination of the oil moisturization as well as that occlusive nature that you often get with a balm. And I love reaching for this when I want the experience of its aroma. The marigold and jasmine sambac combination is incredible. I find it really intoxicating and also really relaxing for use at nighttime. So if you like jasmine sambac, if you like your skincare to be really aromatic and dynamic, then I really recommend this particular product. The next product I want to talk about, I don't have here with me. I am out of it. It is a cleanser slash mask from Flora Lee. It's the Instant Glow Cleanser and mask and I will post a picture for you up here. This became a huge favorite of mine for 2020 because it is a clay mask. It has kaolin clay in it, but it is really, really mild. It has apricot oil in it, shea butter, and then it does have jojoba beads in it, which gives you that really nice gentle exfoliation. But if you don't like physical exfoliants like that, then you probably wouldn't like this one so much. I tend to not use physical exfoliants, but I found this one to be very mild, very gentle. And then it just 
just depends upon the pressure that you apply onto your face, how intense you want the exfoliation to be. But I love its creaminess. I love the scent. If I remember correctly, it's kind of a lavender-ish smell. I definitely will repurchase this in the future. I did purchase it myself. It was not sent to me. I just have several masks going, like the shower type masks that I love so much. I have several of them going right now. And so I don't want to purchase it and then just have it sit around and potentially go bad. So once I get through my shower masks that I've got going right now, I will definitely repurchase this one from Flora Lee. Another product that has been a big favorite from 2020 that I don't have with me is the Asali Bar Soap. And the one I love the most is the Lavender Woods Honey Soap, which has French lavender, ylang ylang, Australian sandalwood. This was definitely my favorite bar soap discovery from 2020. I love using bar soaps and the Asali Bar Soaps have definitely been a huge favorite from 2020. Since we're talking about soap, this is the perfect time to talk about another favorite from 2020. This is the Love Scrub. So the founder of Love Scrub was inspired to put this product out onto the market by her mother. So apparently these are used widely throughout West Africa. Her mother is West African. And so she just used this bath cloth slash scrubby. Uh, she used it ever since she was a child. And so she decided to bring it to the States and to the market here so that we can all enjoy it. And I can't tell you how much I love using it. What I typically do is either just squeeze, you know, uh, bath wash, bath gel onto it and get a foam going. But what I really love doing is taking a bar soap and then I just kind of place it inside. And then with the water, I just rotate the soap inside the cloth and then just get a really lovely lather going on. And then just of course scrub my body with it. What's really great about these are they last 18 months. So if some of you use those round poof scrubby things, you know, those get torn and tattered within like four to six weeks. And I think they do recommend replacing those every two months, I think. But on the other hand, this one lasts for 18 months. And I actually did reach out to the owner or the company. I'm not too sure exactly who responded to my DM and they did let me know that it will last for 18 months. So now I want to touch on some body care and I actually just filmed a favorites video for my body care. So I'm not going to spend too much time on these, but two huge favorites are this lotion from Kawutsun Made and then the Infiori Fermante. So the one from Kawutsun Made, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, it is the Devil's Club Lotion. It has comfrey in it, nettle and cedar, has the most beautiful cedar scent. And in fact, when I put it on my body and I leave the room and then I come back into the room, I can still smell the cedar aroma, which I absolutely love. This is what I reach for when I need to get dressed pretty quickly. So I don't have time to let a body oil sink in. I just reach for this. It absorbs into my skin, moisturizes beautifully, smells amazing. So this is just a huge, huge win for me. And then in terms of body oil, the standout is the Infiori Fermante. This is their elevating leg tonic. It has herbs to improve circulation. It decreases water retention and stimulates lymphatic flow. There's black spruce and cypress in here, which is the whole reason why I purchased it. Because when I think of Infiori, I think of Jasmine, but this one seems like a little bit of a departure in terms of their scent profile. This, like I said, has the cypress and the black spruce, which according to Julie gives you that energy to move forward, but while staying grounded. So I love all the herbs that she uses in here. I love the idea of it promoting flow and circulation and that idea of just like also energetically moving forward and being grounded. It has just felt like a really lovely oil to use, especially during this time. So hair care wise, I have two huge favorites, which I do use together. So I feel like these are my dynamic duo for hair care from the year. This is the Ranavat Fortifying Hair Serum. It is called Mighty Majesty. And then this is the Josh Rosebrook Serum Spray Style. This is the new packaging from Ranavat. Super beautiful. It has the pump dispenser, which I really, really like. The ingredients in here are Jasmine Sambach oil, sunflower oil, and Indian gooseberry oil. So a very simple roster of ingredients, but so effective. The scent on this, as you can imagine with the Jasmine Sambach is absolutely heaven to me. And I just feel like they've really nailed the balance of the oils because it does not weigh down my hair. I have thick wavy hair that is prone to frizz. And I just feel like the texture is just perfect for me. I don't know if it'd be too heavy for people with fine hair, but for my hair, it is really just the perfect balance, like I said, of those oils. And then what I like to do 
is spray some of the serum spray from Josh Rosebrook into my hands, and then I pat it around the crown of my head to really help tame the frizzy. And Josh Rosebrook just did a whole Instagram post on this product. It's really informative, so if you are interested in it, I highly encourage you to check out his IG feed. But he describes it as a lightweight styling fluid that decreases frizz, defines waves and curls, and softens the hair, and also helps protect from heat styling. So I actually just washed my hair and I did use my favorite combo here, the Ranavat oil with the Josh Rosebrook serum. And I really do feel like it helps define the wave in my hair and it helps keep the frizzies at bay. I do have some makeup favorites that I want to share with you guys. A couple of them were inspired by a video I did back in January, so early this year. So this was my testing YouTuber favorites from 2019. So I have been using these next two products that I'm gonna be talking about for pretty much the whole entire year and I love them both. But really the standout for me is the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation. Such gorgeous packaging. And I do love this magnetic closure. It's super satisfying. So I do have two colors actually. I have three and I have seven. When I'm super pale in the middle of winter, so like let's say come February, I will definitely be able to use number three alone on its own. Right now I'm combining the two. And then in the summertime when I'm pretty tan, I just use seven on its own. And I actually like to apply it directly to my skin and then I blend it out with a foundation brush and it blends beautifully, seamlessly. It gives a really nice skin finish. I have it on today and pretty much all my videos this past year, I probably had the Westman Atelier foundation on my skin. I just really, really love it. You can also take the brush of course and then just put it on the actual stick foundation and then apply it to your skin, which I think gives a little bit more of a sheer coverage. And then the next product from that YouTuber favorites project that I did from 2019 is the M Cosmetics Color Drop Serum Blush. This one is in Venetian Rose. I have now at this point procured three of them. I love the finish. It's very glossy. It's very emollient. Gives you like a really nice highlight in addition to the color. I do have Venetian Rose on my skin today. So huge, huge rave for M Cosmetics. I can't remember exactly who raved about it from 2019. I think there were several of the YouTubers that I like to watch who were raving about it. I think maybe Alana Davison, probably Jamie Page, maybe Samantha Ravindal. I can't remember exactly, but I'm super happy I decided to try it. And I do want to mention really quickly that it was Samantha Ravindal who was raving about the Westman Atelier Foundation, and she really knew what she was talking about. It is an amazing foundation. Another big favorite of mine from makeup this past year is from Rare Beauty. I love the doe foot applicator. It is so easy to apply. And then I do use the Rare Beauty concealer brush to blend it out because I really really feel like it just gets into the corners of your eyes really, really well. And then I'll take the concealer and kind of move it up onto my eyelid as sort of almost like a base or a primer for eyeshadow. So huge raves for both of these things, the concealer itself and then the brush. The concealer is just super smooth and creamy. I am not an expert at all in terms of applying concealer. I actually don't really enjoy concealer or sometimes how it ends up looking on me. But the ease of use with this product is a 10 out of 10. And absolutely love it. Oh, and I just want to mention real quickly that their shade range is incredible. I think they have 48 options for their concealer and possibly also their foundation. Their foundation also gets rave reviews, but I think I'm going to skip that one because I'm just so sold on my Westman Atelier foundation. But I just wanted to let you know that the shade range of Rare Beauty is fantastic. And I think the color I chose is 23N and I consider myself to have light to medium skin with olive undertones. And last but not least are the mini palettes from Aether Beauty. These have become fast favorites of mine. And just in general with Aether Beauty, I've really fallen deeper in love with Aether Beauty. I absolutely love my Solstice palette. That has been a go-to for me for, I don't know, maybe over a year now. I think I got that in 2019. But anyway, back to these. This is the Ametrine one, kind of brownie, neutral, purpley colors that I just think are so gorgeous. And then this one is the Topaz, and you can see it's just kind of like olive toned, golden colors, also just super gorgeous. And the running theme for me here today and in general with my life with makeup is ease of use. It needs to be really easy to use, and I find these super easy to apply. I think they're very forgiving. They're very buttery and smooth, but with no fallout. So huge raves for these Aether Beauty quads, and I'm so happy actually that they made the quads because not everybody wants to buy a full palette. So that does it, you guys. 
these are all my favorites from 2020 and I hope that you enjoyed watching this and I would love to know what you guys have been loving from 2020, what your favorite brands have been, product discoveries that you've made. I wanna hear all about it down below. I also wanna say thank you so much for helping me reach my 3K milestone. I am actually going to wait until the new year to do my giveaway just because things get kind of hectic, especially going to the post office between now and Christmas. The lines are so long. So I don't really wanna do a giveaway right now while the post office is just kind of crazy. Things usually are pretty quiet after the new year. So I will be doing the giveaways at that point and I'm so excited to do that because I have been collecting products from my favorite brands, my favorite products to share with you guys. So stay tuned for all of that. And thank you so much for watching this video. I wanna wish everybody happy holidays, stay safe out there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.